Once a script is recorded, playback is necessary to ensure that recorded business process has been recorded correctly. So in case the errors in recording, they can be corrected. The playback model in Roadrunner begins with the login action. It is used to record or log in on related events. Recording is optional in this action and can be iterated only once. Next, various actions which emulate business processes are executed. The number and naming of user actions varies from script to script. The actions in, the, in this section can be iterated. The last action is the log of action. It is used to record or logging of related events. Again, recording here is optional and the action can be iterated only once. Let's go ahead and play back the script that we have recorded earlier. <coughs> this is the same script that we recorded earlier. In order to replay, in the task pane under the replay section, click the verify replay link. Before you actually go ahead and st start with the replay, you need to set the runtime settings. To set the runtime settings, click on the link Open Runtime Settings in the Instruction pane. For a note, these runtime settings are applicable only to the replay in View Generator mode and do not have any effect on the runtime settings of the scenario in the controller. More on this later. Click on the Node Run Logic under the Journal tab. The run logic is basically the number of iterations the various actions would be performed. For, for our replay purpose, let's keep the number of iterations to 1. The pacing node gives you the time interval between two actions in case the actions are iterated. The log nodes gives you the various replay log settings. The think time emulates the time taken by the end user between any two transactions in order to process his next action. For replay, it's best to ignore the think time. Next, select the node additional attribute. This is similar to global variables in certain programming languages. The attributes are declared here and can be used throughout the script and their values can be changed centrally here. Uh, it helps in management of dynamic values. These are the various miscellaneous settings. The speed simulations help simulate various connection speeds between client and server. Say, for example, 28.8 kbps, 56 kbps, 64 kbps, and so on. For replay, let's use the maximum ban bandwidth. The browser emulation instructs the user to replay your script in IE instead of the default Mozilla browser. So system responses to various browsers type can be emulated. These are the various integral protocol related settings. The proxy is required when accessing the internet using a proxy, usually in a company or a school environment. These are the various preferences and the content checks. So let's check the defaults. Press OK. Click the start replay button. This is a replay. No errors were detected. So this is how the replay works.